end of May 1992, when the war started. They started bombing the town, and um, I remember the noise and the earth shaking. We didn't know what's gonna happen, so we had to leave. My mom was already gone because somebody got injured, and as my mom was a nurse, they called her to take care of this person. My aunt started packing. My sister did that as well. And that's where she packed my teddy bear because she knew I couldn't sleep without it. We would just leave the house and run. And all the older people stayed in the houses. And that's where all of them died. My name is Admir Trianin. Today I'm, I live a normal life like everybody else does, but I have a different story. As a war refugee during the Balkan War, and we went into the town searching for help and information as well. And that's when we got arrested and uh, put into the camp to Nopoja. My sixth birthday was in this camp. You know, being a refugee with this age, you don't know the story. They didn't give a lot of food to the people. They would just give them dried bread um, to eat. And there were people starving in there. And people told me, go and ask for food. And this was a really tall man in army uniform with a long beard. And uh, he gave me an apple. My mom's friend told her husband to get us out of the camp. Then we went to a refugee camp in Umak. That's where we met other family members. We didn't know if they survived. Back then, you had no cell phone. In total, we were in three different refugee camps. And this is what makes our case very similar to the refugee scenario we have today because they go from refugee camp to refugee camp. With the help of the ICRC, we managed to leave Croatia towards Switzerland. This teddy bear is the only thing left from my past life. 